New at nine tonight in Maplewood, the city council taking aim at hate crimes. The move comes as a home displaying an Israeli flag is targeted multiple times. Fox 2's Jeff Brenthal is live with the vote happening tonight, Jeff. And it was a unanimous vote, Mandy. Uh, the uh, Maplewood City Council here at City Hall essentially filling a void that was discovered recently in its existing laws by now passing an ordinance that includes stealing as a crime that could be punished as a hate crime under city ordinance. Elected officials say the need to update the ordinance is apparent after a homeowner reported the theft of an Israeli flag. Also, images of a suspect from another incident involve what appears to be a red substance sprayed on an Israeli flag and a banner showing images of Israeli hostages. Maplewood police are still working to identify that suspect. This process was started by the council uh, before this, this last incident occurred, but the idea is that we needed to strengthen our ordinance to address that issue. The proposed ordinance raises the minimum fine for such crimes to $500. A maximum fine is $1,000 with a maximum jail time of 90 days. The penalties would be applicable for any stealing motivated by race, color, religion, national origin, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability of the victim or victims. Because you see more and more every day against Everybody and anybody, doesn't matter what color your skin is, religion or anything, you see it constantly. So it's very important that we move this forward. Maplewood's newly elected mayor believes the new ordinance will send a message that hate crimes are not tolerated and the city has tools in place to prosecute. These type of crimes can either be handled municipally, they can be handled by the state through the county courts, or they can be handled at the federal level. Council members say this effort began under the leadership of the previous mayor. The new mayor sworn in tonight, the new ordinance taking effect 15 days after he signs it. Reporting live from Maplewood, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.